Hello fellow at home travelers, I am Tori and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to be showing you guys what to do in Vienna part 3. So now this is where it starts getting interesting because this was actually the first time that COVID-19 started to have an impact on our trip. I'm currently at home at the moment, all of this footage was from our trip in February but it's crazy to see kind of like how it all unraveled and started developing. So if you like my videos please don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons down below. I really appreciate the support and love and care from you guys. So we started off our day at the Hofburg Palace. It is gorgeous from the outside. So beautiful, so picturesque. If you need somewhere for like the perfect picture in Vienna, go stand outside. It's gorgeous. However, inside is interesting and kind of strange because the first thing that you do at the museum is you walk through this like massive cutlery display where there are just like knives and forks and plates and more dishes than I would ever know what to do with and wouldn't want to put in my dishwasher or use ever. So it's really interesting if you're into cutlery and that. However, once you get through the cutlery display, um, on the second floor they normally have like changing exhibitions that are really interesting so it's actually worth going through the cutlery in order to see the rotating exhibits that are upstairs. If we had this much cutlery what we would do with it, um, Idan over here would make fork jewelry. I would make fork jewelry. And I would make a fork tower. Who doesn't or a knife tower. <laughs> knife tower. A knife tower. I'm trying to figure out the logistics of that because they're all really flat. We're trying to find Chip from Beauty and the Beast. Have you seen him? No. We haven't seen Chip. I found Lumia from Beauty and the Beast. This is my new friend. Are we ready for this, guys? Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to this. Tie your napkin round your neck, shall we? And we provide the rest. On the, the French words, we all love to serve. Try the grey stuff, it's delicious. Picture the plates dancing, everyone. If you don't believe me, ask the dishes, they can sing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tali. Welcome to my group. This is my castle. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm going to give you a tour. Right now, we're in the, um, the hallway, going to my bedroom. Um, <laughs> This is my private staircase. Nobody else is allowed. Hi everyone, I've taken my official position as dictator and I have a tiara currently protected by plastic. Tully approves. <laughs> very reasonable prices and awesome food. I mean, look at what is currently arriving. Nothing arrived for tea, but anyway, never mind. I'll show you the actual food later. <laughs> um, they have really awesome food. I have been here three years in a row, pretty much every single time I come to Vienna, I come to this restaurant. They have got really good coffee. They've even got decaf coffee with oat milk for me, which is amazing, and it was like four euro, which isn't so bad in comparison to some of the other places. Honestly, this is probably one of the best vintage stores that I've been to in a while. It's called Bergasa 24. It's incredible. They have designer pieces, but then they also have some low-keyer pieces. This one is definitely not low-key, but it's gorgeous, and I think I'm in love. They're a little extra. But oh. so am I. Oh my god. <laughs> and we feel super fancy in them. So, the most interesting thing has just happened. Um, Israel has issued a travel warning, um, basically stating that everyone who is coming from Austria and Switzerland needs to be quarantined when they come back to Israel. So that means I'm getting quarantined and Danielle's just waving at me in the window and it's super cute. But even if I fly back on Sunday after Shabbos, um, I'm Jewish so I can't fly on Saturdays. Well, I choose not to. Um, so even if I fly back then, it still means that I'm in quarantine for two weeks and I can't move. So I can't go to my conference in Bucharest. Um, yay! Well, I mean, Aaliyah flew home yesterday and they issued the travel warning today. So she is now in quarantine at home. So she's, oh, I've got my airport in. 
Um, so she's doing her quarantine now, and I guess we're just all gonna have to do our quarantine when we get home. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to one of our group members. We're so sad, but she's gonna send us pictures and she's gonna be in contact, and we're gonna stay in touch. And hopefully, you will be in future vlogs as well. Which would be awesome. awesome. Tali's gonna cry. We're all so sad about this. Why do you have to? So travel tip, I don't know what number this is, but basically double check your tickets and <laughs> what mode of transportation they're on. We, so I had us written down as being on a train today going to Prague and somehow we got it into our heads that we were taking a bus, which we were not. We were still taking a train, so we have now missed our train, but it's chilled because there is a bus in another hour. Please double check your tickets, double check what mode of transportation where the stations are because we almost mixed up our stations once um, you'll probably mix up with transportation at least once if you're doing like a three week trip it's ridiculous like it's so confusing most of the public bathrooms in Europe surprisingly are not free they're gonna make you pay for that shit so make sure that you have small change on you it's normally like 50 cents or one euro so just like make sure you've got small cash on you so that you can actually go into the bathroom so we are now on our Reggio jet bus. We're gonna be here for like uh, five hours. Now, my family full on laughed at me when they heard that I missed my bus. I... Cheers. <laughs> so for this part of the trip, things kind of carried on like normal and we had absolutely no idea just how big COVID was gonna get. I would not have imagined that I would be in South Africa in self-isolation for three months not being able to go anywhere so for now we decided to carry on traveling and you're gonna have to tune in to next week's video to see what happened next so if you enjoyed this week's video please don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons down below and i will catch you all again next week